Pam 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 The Peter Dislike Show! Pam 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 I'm reading an article called Employers Need to Stop Treating Workers Like 7th Graders and they were talking about how work is all about getting work done right, not about setting rules Employers need to experiment to learn what's best for their workers and businesses and um, so, for example, the battle about working from home, and more importantly, the battle over how you do your work, right? Look at the results, for example. And um, so I work uh, at uh, a community college now, but before that I was working at a tutoring center. I had a boss who was um, uh, in his 60s or 70s, and he often uh, watched the work like a hawk. Like, for example, one time um, I was nervously waiting for a number of emails. I was about to move into a different apartment. Um, I had a very toxic experience at one apartment because my roommate, he uh, was bitter over breaking up. And he did this over and over and over again. And um, his life sounded like a Taylor Swift song. And that, that's just incongruent with how I lived my life. And not only that, but he made so much noise about it. And it created ne negative energy. And so I was shopping for another apartment while I was living there. I was waiting for a response from Phoenix College, where I now teach. And so, so uh, one day, just as I'm working with the students, I, I just quickly check my email. The student didn't even notice that I checked my email. He doesn't know my situation. He didn't even know that I was in between apartments or anything like that. And, but my boss got very upset that I was watching my email. My, my student didn't even notice that. Because after that lecture, as my students walking out, I, I, I apologized to him. He said, oh, I didn't even know what was going on. And that's how, uh, that's how silly it was. But my boss cared about something my student didn't even recognize. Now, my boss, I often give examples with my tutoring that relate to my real life and sometimes my boss I don't know what it is about this generation my boss thinks that um, we need to shelter our kids from various subjects that are too adult right uh, for example I had a 10th uh, grader who was studying microeconomics and we were learning about substitutes and complements right for example it's Labor Day now. Some people like to fly, other people like to drive, right? So cars and airplanes could be like imperfect substitutes, right? Obviously, you can't drive to Gdansk Bay, Poland. You don't take a plane to the grocery store you're in town. But for, for distances like Phoenix to Seattle, they could be kind of substitutes with one another, right? Certain things have to come in pairs, right? Uh, so uh, if... Uh, you have a significant other and the two of you need to travel to Seattle together, that would be a, a, a compliment, right? The, the two tickets, right? Now, I brought up an example with the student because he had just uh, broken up with his girlfriend. He wasn't bitter about it, but he had just broken up. And so I let him know about the kind of relationship that I have. And I asked him, well, what do you think these two things are a, a date with somebody else and dates with yourself. Are those substitutes or compliments? And his instinctive reaction was uh, substitutes, right? That's the obvious answer. And then I related to him how five years ago when there was a girl that I thought for sure I was going to marry, I still loved my space to myself. And today, even though I love my space to myself, I still like to go out there and learn new things. And so we, 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 uh, discovered, I, I helped him discover that those are kind of almost directly in between substitutes and compliments, right? They're, they're not even close to one end of that spectrum. So I showed him that there was this possibility. And my boss got very nervous when I brought this up. Uh, this is a 10th grader, 15 years old. I think, I think he's old enough to absorb this. And he got a lot out of this example. And so... Um, uh, actually, in some ways, a lot of adults are worse than 7th graders in terms of picking up something new. I had um, uh, 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 they're, they're at a different tutoring center, not the, not the one that I 
had to leave in a hurry. I had two seventh grade uh, girls who were best friends forever, basically, but one of them made fun of the other for not having a boyfriend, and I knew the one who quote unquote didn't have a boyfriend, that wasn't even among her top priorities. And I pointed out that there are some people who really enjoy their, uh, their life with themselves. And I had a better time teaching the seventh graders that than some adults that I meet. It's weird. We get brainwashed as we grow older. We don't get educated, it seems like, in this country. All right. So in a lot of ways, some seventh graders probably wouldn't do what a lot of employers are doing these days. This is the Peter Dislike Show. The Peter Brainwash Show. Bum, 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 bum. The Peter Brainwash Show. Bum, 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 bum.